guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is grace and today we're going to be doing a little sephora sale haul things that i picked up during the vib sale we're going to be testing them out on camera pretty much it's going to be a full get ready with me chit chatting about the products giving you my first impression and then just like going over everything that i bought um, if this video sounds a little echoey i apologize we are in a new filming room which you can probably tell by the background um this is not my normal setup and there's not a lot of stuff in here i have pillows and blankets like laid out on the ground everywhere to try and help with the echoing but if it's still a little echoey i'm sorry Hopefully in the next video, it'll be a little bit better. But yeah, so that's what today's video is gonna be. Sephora VIB sale haul, and then get ready with me, first impressions of the products. I'm really excited to just be sitting down and playing with makeup and talking to you guys. I've missed these kinds of videos so much. I'm so excited to get back into it. Before we get started, if you haven't already and you think you want to stick around, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and the post notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And let's get into the makeup. Right, we are getting up close and personal. You're getting all the goods today, all the breakouts, everything. We're just rolling with it because <laughs> there's not much we can do right now during quarantine. I am so excited to dig through these products. I've been trying to refrain from opening them all until I could open them on camera because there are a few products that I repurchased, but most of these products are new to me at least. So I'm really, really excited. I think I'm going to go through everything I bought and then we'll get into like using the products just because I don't want to have to keep digging in the box and like reopening as I'm doing my makeup. And because there are some products that I didn't buy for like to get a full face of makeup. So first things first, I purchased the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer, which I'm so freaking excited to try out. I am pretty sure that this is the same as the normal silk canvas primer, which I love. It's just like in a putty form. So I'm not quite sure what the like main difference is when applying this. Actual primer is any different or if it's just a liquid version of the primer. So we're going to look that up. Let's see. I mean, it's a solution for the same things. Pores, oiliness, dullness, uneven texture. Um, it's good for all skin types. It's just a priming balm versus a liquid primer. So we will see in a minute what this is like on the skin. I'm really excited to try it out. I love Tatcha's skincare products. They are very pricey, but I feel like if you find products that work for you, they're worth investing in. Next thing I got is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. This is like my fourth, I think, bottle or jar, whatever you want to call this little thing. Really, really like it. And I didn't buy this for the longest time because when they first launched it, the skin shade range was absolute trash. I still think they have a lot of work to do with it, but it is definitely better. It's a good medium to full coverage foundation. It's got like a satin matte finish, really easy to build, not cakey. Overall, it's just really good. And I really like the container itself because it acts as a palette for your foundation. So you don't have to put it on your hand or anything like that. Then I got the Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. I have not tried this yet. It is a newer concealer. It's been out for a minute, but um, it's still pretty new and it's new to me because I haven't tried it yet. So I'm really, really excited to get this. Hopefully the shade is the right one. I got light sand, which is what I am in Tarte Shape Tape. So hopefully they're pretty close in like shade matching. And then I also restocked on my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. This is like one of my all-time favorite setting powders from Sephora, like a high-end setting powder. This stuff is so good. It mattifies your skin. There are no pores when you use that powder. It's so good. It makes your makeup last all day long. Another new product that I picked up is the Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes. 
Um, I got the shade in Summertime Wine. This is a new product to Sephora. And honestly, I don't know if it's because it's a cream product. This was $22, which isn't crazy expensive, but this is a tiny blush. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I am really excited to try it out. Next thing I got, I'm actually a little pissed, I'm not gonna lie, that I purchased this bronzer. Um, it is the Milk Makeup Cream Stick Bronzer. I decided to get the travel version of this bronzer just because if I didn't like it, I'd be, you know, upset if I got the big version, but I did not realize how tiny the travel size version is. Now, I don't expect it to be like this giant thing, but if you know the Milk Cream Stick blushes and bronzers, they're pretty big. So for it to go from that to this tiny little thing, this is like what you would get in the rewards points. And that's not saying much. So um, this was almost $20 for this tiny little thing. Again, don't know if it's because it's gonna last me a really long time because you don't need as much being a cream product. But as of now, just by looking at the size of this container, I'm like really not happy that I spent my money on that. Moving on, I restocked on my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Love Trap. I have been out of this for so long and I just, anytime I purchase stuff from Sephora, I forget to pick it up. I love this lip liner so much. I'm probably gonna go order another shade today um, just because it's so good and creamy. And then last but not least, I got the Patrick Ta um, Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream in the shade She's Unapologetic. I'm so excited to try this out. I saw it on, I think, Hunter Primo, she's a blogger on Instagram, and I saw her wearing it for like her maternity photos or something, and it looked beautiful. So I picked it up. I've never tried anything from Patrick Ta, so I'm really excited. Okay, so we got you nice and up close, and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the primer. Already moisturized and used my eye balm, so now I can go straight in with my primer, and it says apply one pump to skin after SPF before makeup for face and eyes. So we're gonna start out with one pump and just kind of dot it all over face this smells just like the normal silk canvas it smells like a lot of tatcha products very spa like scent let's see Ooh, it's very thick it's a lot thicker than i thought but it feels nice Okay, so I'm going to do like half a pump more because I feel like I didn't get enough on this side of my face. And I'm gonna really focus the rest right here like on my cheeks because that's where I have the most pores or where they're the biggest. It feels really nice. Like I said, it is a little bit thicker consistency when you first put it on, but it's um, it blends out really nice. It feels really nice on the skin. It smells nice. It's not too overwhelming of a scent. Um, I do like really hydrating primers, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this in comparison to like the Too Faced Hangover, but we'll see what it looks like when my foundation and everything is blended out. Um, so we're gonna let this sit for a minute and kind of get it tacky while I open this foundation. I hope that this shade matches me right now. I got this because I figured it would be a good shade when I'm self-tanned, but my tan is really starting to fade, so it may not match, but we'll fix that with concealer. Let's get this pumping and see if the shade matches me. I have a feeling it's going to be a, well, a little too dark, but like I said, we'll make it work. Uh, yeah, it's 
gonna be a little too dark today, but I feel like this will be a good shade for when I'm self tanned. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely way too dark. So I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Tarte Face Tape Foundation, just like half a pump and kind of dot this all over my face to kind of lighten it up a little bit because it is just way too dark right now. This is just gonna be a good self tan shade. And now I'm wondering, I should get on and order another one when I'm not so tanned. Now I'm going in with this Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I mean, foundation. Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. This looks very, very light, which I tend to like pretty light concealers, so we will see if it's too light. This feels like it's gonna be a very, very thick concealer. So, I think that'll be a good thing, but um, not always. Okay, so it's blending out really nice so far. I think I'm just throwing off because I've been using like more glowy hydrating products and a lot of this is very matte. So I think that's what's throwing me off about everything so far because the coverage is really nice and my skin looks nice. It's just not as glowy. So I feel like it looks dull, which isn't the case. Um, it's just different than what I'm used to. Okay, I feel like you can definitely tell it brightened up my eyes really nicely and it blended out really nice, but I feel like I can still kind of see my dark circles peeking through more towards the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna just add a little bit more. And when I blend it out, I'm really gonna try and focus keeping it like inner corner to middle of the eye, just so it stays built up where I need more coverage. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell how bright it is, but I feel like it's still, I don't know. I think once we set it with powder, that will kind of help with the darkness. Um, so we're gonna move on 
to the actual doll sized bronzer. I cannot believe this thing is so small. I guess I should have looked at like how many ounces were in it before I bought it, but I didn't think it was gonna be this small. Um, okay, so we're gonna just kind of like dot it on. I don't know if that's gonna be too much, not enough, but we're gonna start with that, blend it out. It seems to blend out pretty nicely. Oh shoot. Um, but I think I do need to add a little bit more and I'm gonna try and add some like my forehead. I don't wanna get too heavy handed because I am probably still gonna go in with like a powder, bronzer and contour once I set my face because I'm extra that way. So I don't wanna to get too crazy, but um, I think I did need to add just a little bit more, especially using a sponge to blend it out. That is gonna soak up some of the product. So you might need to go in with just a little bit more than you expect if you're using a sponge to blend. Okay, bronzer is blended out. I really do like the tone like the undertone of this bronzer it's not too warm it doesn't look orange but it's also not too cool okay now moving on to the fenty cream blush this like i said is the shade summertime wine because it's a cream i got a little bit of a darker shade because it will obviously be diffused out it's this like really deep magenta color hopefully it's not too dark when it's blended out but i wanted like a really fun bright blush because i feel like i have a lot of neutrals okay this is what it looks like kind of diffused out on my hand i did swatch a good bit so that is what it looks like um obviously if you go in with a lighter hand it's going to be not so dark so what we're going to do is we're going to take our sponge and just kind of tap in And I'm gonna go back and forth blending both cheeks out so that we diffuse the product evenly. Kind of work up the cheekbone. This is really, really, really beautiful. I'm really glad I got a little bit of a deeper shade because like I said, I have a lot of neutrals and I feel like this is like a really pretty berry shade for spring and summer. I mean, that like blended out the easiest I've ever seen. I'm gonna add a little bit more just because I know whenever I put powder and set my face it is gonna kind of dull out a little bit but wow really really like this I'm gonna run it across the top of the nose up and up I honestly wish my skin could handle just using cream and not having to set my face because I love the way my skin looks right now. I think that this helped a lot with like the dullness from the mattifying primer and foundation combo. I am gonna go in with my beauty blender and kind of blend out like in the nose area and then under my eyes again before I set my eyes so there's no creases.
Okay, so we're gonna take our fluffy powder brush, kind of go into the powder, shake some of it off, and just lightly go over towards the face. Okay, so we're back to pretty matte skin. You can still see the blush through the powder, which I like. I feel like the bronzer, not so much, but we're not gonna do a lot of powder bronzer. We're mainly just going to contour my Tarte Park Ab Princess palette. I love this contour palette. It's so good. I've been using it nonstop for the past few months. Okay, I lied about not using any powder bronzer. We are going to because I feel like my face looks pretty pinky from the blush and I really want to keep that, but we're gonna just warm up the face a little bit just to blend the contour and the blush better because I feel like it's very separated. Bronze the neck since we've got some mismatch coloring going on. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I have been loving not like filling in my eyebrows a ton. I feel like I've grown out my eyebrows quite a bit in the last like, six months to a year. So I really just like outline them and give them a little more shape and then I'll like really fluff them up with brow gel um, and I really feel like this has helped with me not going overboard with the brow pencil because Lord knows sometimes we can get a little heavy handed with it. I just kind of shape the underneath of my brow. Like I'll draw out the line underneath, like outline it. I'll kind of flick towards the end to kind of give my tail a little extra length and love. And then I'll flick up in the front. Just do little hair like strokes. And then right at the arch of my brow, I'll kind of draw an outline at the top and lightly fade down, brush it up, and that's it. And you can definitely tell a difference, like there is an obvious difference between filling them in and not, but I don't feel like it's like overdone. It gave some like lift to my brow. Now we're going to set these bad boys in place. And like I said, we're just going to shape them upwards. And then once I get to the tail, I will kind of set them a little bit flatter so you can see more of that shape of the brow. Moving on to eyeshadow, I've actually been surprisingly loving the new Jaclyn Hill in Morphe palette. This is the volume two palette. I have had it since it launched. I didn't do a sole review on it just because I didn't want to be super biased if I loved it. I feel like with Jaclyn Hill stuff, if you review it, like I have a whole dedicated video to it, you never make anybody happy. This today, I'm not going to do anything too crazy because obviously, we're not going anywhere, we're stuck in the house. So, um, but I did wanna use it on camera and just kinda show you guys how it performs. I am gonna go in first with Perfectionist, this top shade. I think this is a really good crease shade, easy to transition with. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and 
just diffuse this all over the crease. in with no joke which is this like pure yellow shade up here that was like a really awkward way to hold this palette Now I'm gonna go in, still a fluffy brush, but it's a little bit more tapered, and I'm gonna go in to the shades G Money and Homebody. So it's this shade and this shade right here. And we're gonna focus these a little bit more in the crease, like really define that and the outer corner. I want to use, I think I might go into another palette and use a shimmer shade because I want it to be super like bright and white. Not white, but I want it to be like a champagne shimmer. So I think I'm going to go into the Tarte and Bloom palette and use the shade Funny Girl down here. And we're just going to pack this on the lid. Then for the lower lash line, we're going to pretty much go in with all the shades we used on our lid and crease, which is Homebody, G Money, Perfectionist, No Joke. We're just going to do a little mix of all of them. We're gonna jump back to the face before um, I finish up the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with my Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio, and I'm just gonna use that darkest shade blush because I feel like it's the closest to that cream blush that I used. And just build up that color a little bit more. Run it across the nose. My camera stopped recording, but we are baking and now we're going to move on to eyeliner and mascara. I'm not gonna do any liner on my lid. I'm just going to tight line. It's like one of my favorite makeup packs of all time. And then we're going to curl our lashes a little bit. And then for mascara, we're gonna be using the NARS Climax Mascara.
Now we're gonna highlight and do lips. And we're done. So for highlight, I'm gonna be going in with my ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in On The Cusp, one of my favorites. Is it blinding? I'm gonna line my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner. This is in the shade Love Trap. I don't know if I said that whenever I was pulling all the products out, but. It's just a really good, like, deeper nude, like a brown. Okay. And I want to say this is like a satin matte. It's a lip cream. So I don't know if it completely dries down or what. But we about to test it out. Okay. It's way lighter than I thought. Okay. It looks like I have concealer lips. Um, I think... This would probably be best on top of another liquid lipstick. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in 951. This is a really good like deeper brown nude shade. And I think this on top is going to be really nice. Let's try this again. The formula is really nice. It feels really nice on the lips. It was just a little too light. Much better. I'm going to add a little bit of my Laneige lip balm. Just because I like really juicy glossy lips especially with a look like this all right now we can set our faces using the morphe setting spray So overall thoughts and opinions, I really liked all of these products. Um, I actually was expecting to have at least one product flop. I think the concealer is the only one that I'm not like absolutely crazy about, but I want to keep testing it out. Just a first impression. It's a good product. It's just not my absolute favorite concealer. It didn't blow me away by any means. Everything else I give two thumbs up. So that is it for today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you want to see more reviews, more testing out products, I'm excited to get back into the review realm of YouTube. Um, also, leave a comment down below what you want to see next. Do you want to see a drugstore review, more high-end? Let me know what you like, what you want to see. I'm here for you. Also, before you leave, if you haven't already and you think you want to stick around, click that red subscribe button and the post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.